In 1965, Dow AgroSciences bought a pesticide called Chlorpyrifos. It brought it to the market. The pesticide became widely used on crops all over the world due to how effective it was at killing mosquitoes, ants, roaches, and other insects that pose a threat to the global food supply. 52 years after it was first introduced, the pesticide is used in more than 100 countries around the globe on more than 50 different kinds of commercial crops. If you live in the United States and you've eaten apples, lettuce, peaches, oranges, bananas, or potatoes in the last 50 years, chances are you've been eating food that's been sprayed with this chemical. The EPA estim estimated that between 1987 and 1998, about 21 million pounds of this pesticide were used annually in the U.S. By 2007, chlorpyrifos was the most commonly used organophosphate pesticide in the United States, with an estimated 8 to 11 million pounds, 8 to 11 million pounds applied to our food in non-residential turf like golf courses. Like most pesticides, it's a neurotoxin that disrupts the normal function of the nervous system in insects leading to death. But as years of scientific research is now telling us, this dangerous pesticide can also act as a neurotoxin in human beings. Even though Dow Chemical claims, of course, that their pesticide is completely harmless to human beings at normal doses, we've heard that before, science tells us that exposure can cause very serious and very permanent damage to the nervous system of people who are exposed. Experimental animal studies suggest that infants and children are more susceptible than adults to the effects of low exposure because they've a de they have a decreased capacity to, to detoxify and to metabolize this chemical. This results in disruption in the nervous system and developmental process. Exposure by pregnant women or infants can lead to impaired brain development, resulting in a lifetime of hardships. These are developmental injuries that can't be overcome or corrected. Once brain development is impaired, the damage is permanent. Among adults, applicators of pesticide on farms were noted to have a far higher incidence of lung cancer than the general population, as well as among the population of farmers that use other forms of pest control. They're also far more likely to develop a condition called wheeze, which occurs when the airways become restricted after repeated long-term exposure to even allegedly safe levels of this pesticide. There really might not be safe levels. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.